Yum, yum. Welcome to this overview of Instant Lighting Kit 2. Instant Lighting Kit 2 gives you access to 36 brand new environments which are accessible under the same icon if you already own Instant Lighting Kit 1, although you don't actually need to own version 1 in order to be able to use version 2. The idea behind the Instant Lighting Kit, if you're not already familiar with it, is to allow for a playful and exploratory way to create lighting in your scenes. It's a really enjoyable workflow that allows for happy accidents and allows you just to try lots of different combinations in order to compare and choose the most effective one that works for your particular scene. So let's see it in action and I'll start by loading the studio environments from the Instant Lighting Kit 2 and I'm just going to go to my perspective view so I can find the control locator. And if I unpause preview we should see the environment which is in the number one slot. And one of the things you'll notice is there are now some additional controls on the control locator just to offer you a little bit more flexibility with your lighting. So one of the things you can now do is to blur the environments and that allows you to soften all the lights in a really pleasing way. Another thing you can do is to increase or decrease the contrast. So again, just to offer you a little bit more flexibility. And you can also rotate the hue, so that will be more useful in environments that are more strongly colored. This one is neutral, so it's not gonna have any effect here. And of course, we still have all of the controls from version one, so we can select different environments, we can rotate them and change the saturation. So you can see that if I rotate the environment, it has a pretty dramatic effect on the lighting and allows us to create endless variations on all of the options that we have. So let's just cycle through and we can see different options that are available in the Instant Lighting Kit version two. So here I have some color in the environment so you can see that by rotating the hue control I can change the color and again this just offers a lot more flexibility. So I'm just gonna quickly cycle through these environments so you can see some of the variety that's on offer. There's lots of different variations and different permutations they're going to allow you to create all sorts of really interesting renders from all sorts of different assets. So having cycled through the studio presets, let's now load the interior presets and have a quick look at those. And once again, I'm just going to quickly cycle through the options so you can look at all the different permutations that you can achieve simply by changing the rotation or the environment selection or any of the other controls. So as you can see, there's a lot of different permutations and you can create a very wide variety of looks using the controls. So next we'll have a look at the exterior environments. So I'm just gonna load these into my scene and I'll quickly go through some of the options so you can see what's available to you. So having done a quick run through, let's look at some actual real world scenes involving a character and an architectural scene to see how you might fit the Instant Lighting Kit version 2 into your workflow. So I've switched to a new scene which is showcasing a character and all I've got is a simple plane behind her and I've loaded the interiors from the Instant Lighting Kit 2. And what I'm going to do is just go through a few of the permutations just to demonstrate how you can really easily get some really nice renders using the kit.
So as I hope this quick demonstration has shown, if you've got a character that you want to light and render with the Instant Lighting Kit 2, it's really easy to create lots of variations and lots of different images with the minimum effort. So now I've opened an architectural scene and this time I've loaded the exterior environments from Instant Lighting Kit 2. And once again, I'm just gonna quickly go through a few permutations just to show you how you can really quickly get really nice lighting variations with the kit. So as you can see, the Instant Lighting Kit 2, just like version 1, can be used in all sorts of different contexts, from product shots to characters to architectural interiors. And its main advantage is that it has a really nice workflow. It's so easy to use, you simply load up the kit and then just play around with the controls until you find something that you like. And personally, I really enjoy this rather playful way of lighting a scene because it allows you to explore all these variations and come up with results that you might not do on your own. And of course, after that, it's really easy to create lighting variations based on the same scene. And I use these kits all the time in my own work. So thank you very much for watching. And if you do buy the Instant Lighting Kit too, I hope you enjoy it as much as I have.